Hey everybody, how's it going? We're talking about my scent of the day, Pacific Rock Moss by Goldfield and Banks. So do I like this fragrance? Yes, I actually love the way this scent smells in the air, up close, everything about it. So with this fragrance, I mainly get three things. I get lemon, sage, and then in the dry down, there's some cedar. Now I believe when I looked this fragrance up, they said that there was some geranium in this scent, but to be honest, I don't really smell that. I smell more of the other three things that I mentioned to you. And overall, this fragrance is blended really, really nicely. It's one of those fresh and cleans that doesn't just stop at being fresh and clean. It's also very sexy, it's very attractive, and it's a unisex fragrance. So it doesn't matter if you're the most masculine person, the most feminine person, it's gonna smell amazing on you during, I was gonna say, summer, but just in like hot months in general. If you live in a warm climate, this is gonna be a great signature scent. Now, the one downside to this fragrance is the performance. On me, it's noticeable for about four to five hours. And even at that though, it stays relatively close to my skin. This is definitely a fragrance I have to overspray if I want it to last, or if I'm going outdoors to the beach or something like that, and I want a fragrance that is still gonna be on me after some time, I have to overspray it. But I, you know what? I did mention this in a previous video though, that I believe the earlier batches of this fragrance, people have informed me that those last much longer, like over six hours, which is crazy because if you get over six hours with this fragrance, then I totally think it's absolutely worth it because the price point of a full size bottle of this for retail on Goldfield and Banks' website is around, I believe $235 right now. And to me, everything checks out with the scent, with, well, <laughs> I think, that, well, that was that it? No, like the way that this smells, like I love wearing it, but the price and the performance I get, it's a little bit steep. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know what I mean? Things like Cedrop Bose that I really love, that stuff lasts over eight hours on me. You know what I mean? So whenever there's a fresh fragrance, even if the scent is amazing to me, dropping $235 on something that's very light and aromatic and that does not really perform well on my skin, puts it in the so-so category. You know what I mean? If you can find a way to get a bottle of this that, well, the earlier bottles that perform really nicely where you know that you're gonna get good performance out of this, then hell yeah, I think it's worth it because the way that this thing smells is heavenly. I love this fragrance and I'm trying my best to not finish it so soon because it's not even May yet, but I wanna hold on to it as long as possible because I really do enjoy this scent. But man, that price is what's setting me back. So of course, if you can find it at a discount site, then keep an eye out for that. But overall, this is a solid fragrance. This is my favorite fragrance from Goldfield and Banks. I tried about five others, including Wood Infusion, something about a desert rose. There was, well, they're all right here. Let me, let me see, hold on, wait a second. Because we got Silky Woods, Desert Rosewood. There's Lair du Desert Mor Moroccan, Moroccan. And the, the wood infusion I mentioned, and lastly, Bohemian, li Bohemian Lime. And I liked Bohemian Lime. Lime? Jeez, can I say that right? But honestly speaking, Pacific, stay. Pacific Rock Moss just does it for me. I love it like way more than the other scents. So yeah, just try to try to get it at a discount site or something like that because the smell is really good. Now in terms of compliments, it's a huge compliment getter. This thing is very mass appealing. And what I also like is that it doesn't smell like your typical fresh and clean fragrance. Yes, it has that lemony citrus quality that is present in many of them and that cedar, but the sage to me is what makes this one just a little bit different. It gives it a little bit of a twist that makes it kind of intriguing. You know, you're like, mm, that smells good. Like what is that, you know? And I was kind of worried about the moss because be like, you know, sometimes when things are a bit green and 
mossy. It can smell a bit weird to me, but this fragrance, it, I don't get a mossy green sort of vibe. I mainly just get the lemon and the sage. But anyways, that's my review of Pacific Rock Moss by Goldfield and Banks. It's a thumbs up if you can get it at a discount site. All right. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.